Hello from Wandering Wanda. I'm Marielle. We are at Clinton Knoxville North KOA and here it's actually a nice it's what I actually reserved. 50 pull through. It doesn't look like they have any deluxe here. They're all the same so that's fine. 50 feet pull through so when I'm getting out I can hitch up and not have to worry about it in the morning the day before okay here's our site Starlink is up and working we've got the pink flamingos we're here for seven nights we will be visiting four or five national parks in the area and Walter will be flying back to Las Vegas tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon we're very we're leveled we didn't have to put any blocks down <laughs> even though we have Starlink we're right next to the Wi-Fi network here at the park which is kind of funny here's our service side again 50 amps water in water out I don't know how the water pressure is yet I guess oh water pressure is fine I've already checked so this is our setup I took out the water regulator because I'm using this now it's an easy hookup and it's got a small hole and so does the hose so the hose actually works as a water pressure regulator and there is one built in from what I've been told by Airstream in the Airstream so I no longer have a water regulator for the hoses and this is really nice I've never seen this before each and every site has a trash can amusing I don't know if they check this every day I guess I'll find out I'm here seven nights but so far I like this park they escorted you into the site very few back ends most of the sites are, are pull throughs it's it's wonderful I don't know why most parks don't do this so right now first impression I would stay here again with that hesitation <laughs> For, for some odd reason, there's a lot of Asian restaurants in Clinton. And we're gonna go, there's a sushi, there's a, there's a wok place, there's a hibachi place, there's... We are here at the Cumberland Gap National Historic Park. It's in Middlesboro, Kentucky, straddling the line with Tennessee. The story of the first doorway to the west begins here, where the borders of Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia meet. Carved by wind and water, Cumberland Gap forms a major break in the formidable Appalachian Mountains chain. Today, visitors enjoy the many miles of trails and scenic features, which we will not be doing. It's way too warm. I'm probably going to drive up to the peak. We are at Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area in Oneida, Tennessee. A free-flowing Big South Fork of the Cumberland River and its tributaries pass through 90 miles of scenic gorges I pronounced that wrong. Gorgeous? Gor gorgeous? Okay, anyway. I guess it's another English word I can't pronounce. And valleys connecting a wide range of natural and historic features. The area offers a broad range of recreational opportunities and is a rich cultural tapestry. We are at Ovid Wild and Scenic River Park 
at Warburg, Tennessee. More than 45 miles of creeks and rivers have cut rugged gorges with bluffs as high as 500 feet above the white water in the streams. White water, boating, rock climbing, hiking, and fishing are popular seasonal, seasonal activities here in Obed. The area has a diverse cultural and natural history. We're not doing any of that. We're just gonna get her a stamp. We are at the Manhattan Project National Historical Park in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. This site tells the story of the people, events, science, and engineering that led to the creation of the atomic bomb, which helped end World War II. The Clinton Engineer Works, which became the Oak Ridge Reservation, was the administrative and military headquarters for the Manhattan Project. And it's this building right here. It's a huge building. Starts off way over there. Where that red caboose is. All the way down here. Hmm. This is the administrative center. Right, it's now a children's museum of Oak Ridge. But we're gonna go get our stamp. Today we are here at the Andrew Johnson National Historic Site in Greenville, Tennessee. The home life of the nation's 17th president and explored here in his family home. His, pre his presidency from 1865 to 1869 exemplifies the U.S. Constitution at work following Lincoln's assassination as Johnson worked to reunify a nation that had been torn by civil war. I did not realize he was Lincoln's vice president. Let's go explore. We've already seen his house, which is right over there. That's his early home. His homestead is down the street, but we're going to go to the visitor center, get our stamp.
the reason why I'm doing this, we're here at the Great Smoky Mountains in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Oh dear Lord, that little town, Gatlinburg, is a madhouse. There was probably 5,000 tourists just walking around in the street. Parking, horrible. The traffic going through there was horrible. Okay, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I do not recommend coming here. Come here when it's a really off season. It's ridiculous. There's just too many people here. It's not enjoyable. Too many people. Anyway, it is in, again, it's in Gatlin, Gatlin, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, ridge upon ridges of endless forests straddle the border between North Carolina and Tennessee. World renowned for the beauty of its ancient mountains and the quality of its remnants of Southern Appalachian mountain culture, the park attracts over 1 million. Oh my God, the park attracts over 9 million visitors each year. 9 million! And they're all here right now. <laughs> all right. There is a one mile or two mile hike to a waterfall right near the visitor center. We're going to do that. Again, we're at the Great Smoky Mountains and the park sign. It was just like, it's too deep. Parallel parking. Car, it's just cars. Cars everywhere. Oh, not happy with this. Here in the parking lot in Dollywood. Couldn't really, could not really film too much because there were either children in the frame shot or they had Dolly singing in the background. There's just too many copyright and children things that couldn't really film all too well. Had a good time walking around, sat in on a couple of shows that were really good. A lot of it is a little bit too religious for me, but the beat was good. So, headed back to the trailer. It's about an hour and 
15 minute drive back. We are at the foothills of the Great Smoky National Park, which is right over there. You can see that up to the hill. 